Many forest companies collect foliage to monitor tree nutrient levels, which can be good indicators of site fertility and tree health. Samples for nutrient analysis are usually collected during February and March, often from young stands reaching canopy closure when the demand on the soil nutrients increases. The mandatory personal protective equipment for foliage sampling is steel cap boots, high vis vest, safety helmet with visor or safety glasses, and grade 5 hearing protection if firearms are involved. Other gear should include GPS with marked sampling locations, a map, phone, and PLB. Trees up to 6 metres are generally sampled by hand using secateurs. Trees 6 to 11 metres are sampled using pole pruners. From 11 to 30 metres, a shotgun can be used to bring foliage down. Beyond 30 metres, experienced climbers or helicopters are necessary. Collection bags are labelled with the forest name, compartment, PSP number or trial code, treatment or family name and the date. Choose a typical tree. Samples for nutrient testing are collected from fully grown foliage on the most recent second order branches exposed to full light in the top third of the crown. What we're focusing on is the secondary branch right at the end of the primary branch. Three year foliage up to here, and then we have two year foliage up to here, and then we have this year's growth starting in about November, grown here is one year foliage. And then, if I was to sample this branch and it was up in the top third of the crown, I would just simply snip this about here and then we will take foliage from this branch here. Needle fascicles from any late autumn flush should be avoided as they are not fully extended and not at their most stable in terms of nutrient content. And then just simply strip it so like that. Suitable foliage can be recognised by the clear sheath at the base of the fascicle. Two year plus foliage has a dark recessed sheath. Be careful to take the entire needle fascicle. Strip 10 to 15 needle fascicles from sample branches and put them in the labelled sample bag. Ideally, your sample size will be about a fistful of fascicles. Samples need to be kept cool, clean and dry. Pack them into a cool chilli bin or box and keep out of the sun. A shotgun is used to shoot down samples when trees are taller than 11 metres. The shooter must hold a current firearms licence. Notify the appropriate work contact. Obtain forestry entry permit and ensure forest managers are aware firearms will be used. Let local police know if you will be near a residential area. Keeping a safe firing zone in mind, identify suitable branches that will fall cleanly and not get hung up in the lower branches of the chosen or neighbouring tree and will not fall into a stream or over a bluff, for example. Watch the branch all the way to the ground and make sure the sample you pick up is the sample you chose, especially if it has been windy and the ground is littered with small branches. Notify the forest manager that you are leaving or have left the forest. Deliver the samples to the lab as soon as possible. If this is beyond 24 hours, keep samples refrigerated or on ice.